Hello, my name is Cody Harrison. I'm an Applications Engineer here at Yokogawa Test and Measurement. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up a DL850EV to decode SENT protocol signals using the 720-243 SENT input module. There are a few requirements for using the DL850EV serial network analysis functions. The instrument must be a DL850EV, or for the DL350, it must have the VE option installed. The module must be installed in slot 5 through 8. The first step to begin measurement after the module has been installed in the correct location and the DL850EV has been powered up is to initialize the settings. We do this by pressing Setup, Initialize. I like to do this so that we start with a clean slate and no past settings get in the way of our current measurements. This will take a few moments, and when the procedure is finished, all available channels will be displayed. Turn all the channels you do not wish to use off at this time. You can do this by pressing All Channel, scrolling over, and turning this off. I have selected to use slot 7 for my scent module. This will assign channel 13 and 14 to this module. I'm using channel 13 to measure our scent data, so I've chosen to turn all other channels off. Another preference of mine is to have one display. So I would go to display, and using the jog, I would take it down to one display. We will then set our time per division down to 100 milliseconds per division to be sure we get a good visualization of our waveforms. Once we have set the instrument settings to our preferences, we will then set the subchannel settings up to decode our signal. Yokogawa scope quarters have a unique feature to decode vehicle bus signals such as CAN, LIN, and SENT, and display and record these signals just like any other analog trend. This helps engineers compare digital data to analog data all in one device. For this test, we are using a signal generation board to create three fast channel waveforms and two slow channel waveforms. For each of these waveforms, we will have to apply settings so that all five channels are decoded properly. To do this, we'll have to go to channel 13 and then go to scent port configuration. Our demo board sends out a 12-bit sine wave on fast channel 1 an 8-bit saw wave on fast channel 2, and a 4-bit inverted sine wave on fast channel 3. Knowing this, we can adjust our start bits to the appropriate settings. Our demo board also outputs a slow channel sawtooth wave using bits 1 and 6, so we will adjust two of our slow channel IDs to display these waveforms. The Yokogawa scope quarter is going to parse out the bits belonging to each channel, put them together into their individual signals, making it easy for engineers to read exactly what values are being communicated. Within our scent port configuration menu, we have several submenus that allow you to adjust settings for your signal type. Within the Scent Format Setup menu, we can change settings like the Master Clock Tick Time, CRC Type, and the Slow Channel Type. We also have the ability to change settings on our Error Channel. We can choose which subchannels we wish to trigger on and which channels triggers we wish to count. The Input menu allows us to change our setting for the type of leads we are using. For our demonstration, we are using a setting of 10 to 1. We also have the ability to change range settings and scale settings for each channel, which makes it easier to observe multiple channels. You can also just show your analog data by going in and turning off your digital data, your error trigger, and your error count.
or if you just want your digital data, turn it on and turn your analog data off. Because these are waveforms and not just hexadecimal values, any of our triggers, including our enhanced triggers, will be able to use them to trigger off of. You see here we have our channel 13 fast, fast 2, fast 3, and our slow channels. I hope this has demonstrated to you how to set up the scent bus feature of our scope folders. For more information or if you have any questions, please visit tmi.yokogawa.com. Don't forget to click subscribe to join our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.